Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do something super basic in Confluence, and that is I'm going to be teaching you how to add pages in Confluence. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to actually add the page, but I'm also going to give you some pointers, some tips on how to manipulate your pages and how to organize your pages so that it makes sense. Also, I need you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already subscribed. And if you get value out of this video, drop a like below. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below as well. Now let's jump into Confluence and we'll see and learn how to add pages. All right, so here we are in Confluence and adding pages is fundamentally probably the most basic, most common task that you're going to do. Everything's in a space, and we've already covered how to add spaces and stuff, but once you have your space established, the next thing that you're going to be doing very, very frequently is putting information into Confluence. And we do that in the format of a page. And this is basically like adding a new web page to a website where you just want to capture information. Now, I've already covered templates so that if you're feeling uninspired and you're kind of like, well, what information should I put on a page? feel free to go watch that video on how to use page templates because Confluence actually does a really good job of just giving you like a template with a bunch of just preset, pre-formatted information that you can then just fill in with your personal information. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to take a blank page and I'm just going to create a very simple just demonstration page. And then I'm going to show you typically the kind of things that you want to keep in mind when you're organizing and manipulating your pages. So let's take a look. I'm just going to go into a space. It doesn't matter which space you're in, but preferably you're going to want to be in a space where you and your team are collaborating. Okay. Once you're in your space, you can click the create button. Now, technically you can create the hit this create button anywhere you want, but Confluence is very particular. I want you to pay very special attention to where I'm going to hover my mouse here. When I click on that create button, and I'm already in a space like I did first, right? Remember I went to the space first and then I clicked the create button. Confluence will know where to kind of put that page, at least in which space, because if I don't do that, if I'm just in all my spaces out here and then I click the create button, Confluence is going to just put them in my personal space. And you might not want that. Notice how the location is completely different. And so as a best practice, I recommend you go into the space that you actually want to create your pages in and then click the create button. And this is only one way of doing it. This other way of creating a page is once you're in your space, you can come down to the tree structure over here and you'll notice that there's a couple of plus signs. And so if you want something to be at the top of the tree, you want to click on this little plus sign where it says pages. Every single space is going to have this word pages. However, not every single space is going to have like retrospective and things like that. These items are page trees and they're the root. They're the top of the tree, which is opposite of how a tree works, but they're the top level. And when you create a, a basically a top or root page, it'll be underneath pages. And then any child pages will be nested underneath like this. And so let's just create a page at the root level. And I'm just going to create a page and I'm going to call it meeting notes. So whenever I want to take notes for in the meeting, I'm just going to have this page here and I'm going to hit publish. And what that basically does is it creates, like I mentioned, a, a just a page entry at the root. And this doesn't really do too much because this is just like a landing page for things because the meat of the potatoes here or the, the content is going to be in children pages underneath this root page. And so if I go to a meeting and we're in a budgetary meeting, I'm just going to put um, budget meeting notes, and then I'm going to put, this is my budget. We are not doing well, right? And so when I do that, you'll also notice that this Confluence is telling you where this page is going to be. And so don't worry about changing it right now, because if you try to click on this little page width, all it does is expand. And so you actually can't change the location just yet, but I'm going to show you what you can do after you hit publish. Okay, so once I hit publish on a page, you'll notice that it's in the right spot. It's in the budget meeting notes, but you won't always have this luxury. Sometimes you'll forget and you're just going to create a page. And so the cool thing is that you, you actually have two ways to move your pages around. 
And so let me show you some tips and tricks here. So if you create a page, and let's just say that this wasn't supposed to be in budgets, we actually, let's assume that we have another root directory called budgets, and I wanna actually have it there. And so I, see how it disappeared, the old one? So I can actually go to it, and you can just simply drag and drop, and if you hover over it, it'll kind of nest it in there. And now it moved out of meetings and into budgets. And so when I expand it, there's my meeting there. Now, let's assume that you didn't want to do that because that can be kind of tricky to hold the mouse and move it and hold it in the right spot. An alternative is once you have a published page, if you click on it, you can actually come to the ellipses over here on the far right and you do have a move capability. Now this is cool because if you have children pages, if you have nested pages and you wanna move all of those pages, we can move them in one fell sweep. So let me show you. I can move my budgets to the meeting notes. So you, all you gotta do is move this over and see, it's basically the same effect, but if I put it inside my meeting notes, it'll move it back in there and then I can visualize what it's doing. But to kind of show you more of an effect, let me show you if I do a second page, right? And I'm just gonna do like January budget and hit publish. That way I have a nested page just to show you the bulk, right? Because you can move just any page you want. I can move the January budget. I can put it as a root. I can hide it underneath meeting notes, or I can just put it back where I want to um, underneath budget meetings. Or if I want to, I can just take it out and put it back under budgets. And now it's at the same level as budgets. So as you can see, very, very easy to manipulate, but it can be very easy to accidentally fat finger and move pages where you don't want them to. So be very, very careful when you're doing this because it's just super easy to like take a page and move it out of place. And so the um, the thing that I was trying to tell you though is if I put the January budget in here and now when I go to move it using the other UI that I was showing you and I try to move the UI, the, the budget here, you see how to also say includes one child page. So when I move that whole thing, instead of just moving just one, it's gonna actually move the group. So this is kind of cool. I like this, although you can actually technically move the whole group like that as well. And so again, it just depends on which way you wanna do it. I just know that some users, they kind of struggle with their fine motor skills and it's sometimes easier to just move them using that move option over there. So anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. I wanted to show you how easy it is to create a page and then how easy it is to manipulate the placement of that page you're gonna find yourself creating pages a lot. And so it can be very overwhelming when you're putting the pages in the wrong spot, or it can be very overwhelming to even know where the page needs to go to. So some teams actually have like a uncategorized section where they just go and create pages. And then somebody in their team kind of is in charge of like making sure the pages end up in the right spot. Also, I recommend that a, a good tip is to have very descriptive root pages. So if you're going to have meeting notes, budgets, things like this, be explicit with the titles here so that any other team member can, can it's clear as day where their respective pages are actually going to have to belong to. All right. Because otherwise this can get very chaotic very, very quickly. And, and you just don't want that. You don't want that kind of chaos and disorganization. You want your confluence pages to be as organized as possible so that you can communicate better. Anyways, that's pretty much for this video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel tremendously. 80% of you aren't subscribed. And so if you're getting value to these videos, make sure you hit subscribe because I got over a hundred videos in my channel and you don't want to be missing out on that content. Also drop a like, because as you know, it helps out the algorithm quite a bit. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now